be doing for you guys today. Um, I really do want to apologize. I'm not in like the best of moods. Um, haven't been since like pretty much all day. Um, last night was not a good night for me. Um, and this morning has just been okay. I keep I don't know if the like the mirror is just like slapping on it, but anyhow, random. So I was playing with it. Um. So yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm kind of talking really like this the whole video, not usually the bubbly person that I am. Um, however, I did tell you guys I was going to make a video or a tutorial for you guys today. Um, I'm probably going to end up replacing this one uh, just because, I don't know, I like to have mine all bubbly, but I'm not really bubbly feeling today. Um, but if you anyhow, if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching, and I hope you guys like it regardless of my mood. Um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. Okay, ladies, so, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start off our look. It's really simple, really easy. I'm like, not even, I don't even have my camera, like, on the usual stand. I'm just kind of plonked it on there, hoping that it stays on while I'm doing it. Um, I went ahead and put my primer on, and now, um, just going to take, I'm going to be using this Maybelline New York, um, Blissfully Blue, uh, palette here, and I'm going to go ahead and take this one, it's like a silvery kind of color, and I'm just going to go ahead, just with a sponge applicator, and just apply that all over my eye. All the way up until your brown bone. Just like that. Uh, I already put my eye. I'm not even sure if I mentioned that part, but I did. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. These things are kind of hard to get open. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use this in it's After the Rain. And, excuse me, um, this is a really pretty kind of, I have hardly none left in here. Oops, I kind of dropped some. And it's just, I'm going to pack this on the brush real quick you guys can see, and it's the kind of this, um, pastel kind of green here, you guys can see, it's really pretty, um, so I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid, you can use a fix plus, or, um, just water even, if you wanted to, to make the color more vibrant, if you wanted to make this, uh, more pop, uh, however, this I find is more wearable for me today because, however, I'm not going anywhere in particular. So, yeah. But just put it on like that. So, you can, as I said, do the face plus to make it a little bit more vibrant. Um, I'm just going to touch it up a little bit on the other eye as well. Like that. And then the next color I'm going to take is this um, blue, and this one is also from the Blitzly blue palette, whatever thing from Maybelline. I'm going to take the top color there. And I'm just going to put that right here in the outer corner. Now these aren't really too pigmented, so um, I found that that was good for me because I'm doing more of a daytime sort of thing. Um, however, with the blue, I would recommend to use water or some sort of fix plus there, um, just because this blue isn't too vibrant. But if you have any dark blue, then you know you don't really need it. However, I do have a darker blue, but. I don't really want to use that today. Um, I'm just going to bring that in and kind of shape it into like a really low kind of V, not too high. 
how do you see? And now I'm going to take um, a blending brush and grab this is like an olive green right here, and this one is from the um, graffiti or graffiti, no, gratifying green. So we're going to take this one. This green, by the way, on the top is really garbage. It's like not even pigmented whatsoever. Uh, but I'm just going to take a little bit of that middle one, which is really pigmented. And kind of just put that in the center right there. With this one, I wouldn't use any kind of fix plus. And I'm just going to bring that in. I really apologize for the video uh, for today and yesterday. They're kind of garbage. Um, but, I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's just... Yesterday I haven't had a really good day. My night was just awful. Um, this morning was it was okay. Um, yeah, it's not really like the best ever. Then I'm gonna come back into this kind of silvery color that we used before to do a whole eyelid and kind of help us blend it out. And then dab it into a little bit of blue, kind of, so we don't lose it because it isn't really that pigmented, as I said. Pretty simple. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and use, this is an eyeliner brush. Looks like that. And I'm going to put some in this blue here. And I just want to define the line a little bit more. Just because this color really washes away, blends away, bleh, blends away really easily. So I just want to put it more defined. And then I'm also going to go ahead and dab it in that blue and bring it underneath the eye. I'm trying to watch my faces. And that's how I'm kind of just going to line it up. Sort of like that. Um, not too far out, though. And then go into that really, really, really pretty green that I was telling you guys about. And sort of tap it into that as well. So we're going to bring down the other. Until the color's me. I can already tell I'm making the faces. I hope you guys can't tell. Because <laughs> it looks so stupid. And then I'm just going to kind of dab it in there a little bit just to bring it out more. Or you can use this as a highlight of the inner, inner corner. So I'm just going to take the blending brush for that, just dab very, very little, just to get it in there. I try not to use too many brushes, um, just because I understand that not everybody has brushes. Um, so really, this, a blending brush, these two, an eyeshadow brush and a blending brush is really the only brushes you really need um, if you're starting off with makeup such as I am, I must say. I just really started getting into makeup a few months ago. Um, just watching the videos on YouTube and things like that. And I'm going to go back into that green because I need to touch it up there. So I'm also going to touch it up here. A little bit more of that blue because 
the food really, really washes away pretty easily. It's just amazing. Um, however, these are good if you're not going to go out, like, to a big party, um, to wear them just like that without some sort of water or anything like that. Because you don't, you have color, but not too much color. So I think that's probably what they're meant for. Um, me to see with my mirror real quick and make sure that everything is even. This little corner does not look even. I don't know if it looks even on the camera, but it doesn't look even. I mean, it's just driving me crazy. Um. Uh, it could just be me. Um, yeah, it, that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and put in, um, I'm going to be using this from e.l.f. and it's the teal eyeliner, um, mascara. And then I'm just going to put a really, really, really thin line of, um, cream eyeliner or wet eyeliner, whatever you want to use. I mean, really, really fine. Um, however, if you wanted to make it thicker, I mean, it's just your own personal preference. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then come back and show you guys what I'm going to do for the lips. Okay, um, try to put the camera back to where I had it. I just went ahead, and I just lined my eyes really thinly, put some mascara on, some elf as usual. Um, what else did I do? Oh, and I just used this in Ice Latte, lip gloss from elf. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the look. Um, yeah, hopefully I'm in a much better mood tomorrow. I'm really sorry again. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it either way. Um, it's really simple, really easy. It's not too, like, in your face, but it's pretty, uh, I thought it was pretty at least, and I hope you guys do too. Um, if you have any comments about it, or if you want to see another one, should you please just see? I totally understand. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.